Mark Giardini, FightHype.com, here with Manuel La Tormenta Mendez, fresh off his first round KO victory, man. How do you feel? You got the, the big knockout on Showbox, you know, you're, you're close to your hometown, you know, talk to him. Man, that's, that's what it is. Oh, correction, hometown, Ontario, Oregon. No, but man, like I had family drive down from over here, like 16 hour drive for this, man. Man, it's, it's an honor, man. It, I'm, I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed. Was that your toughest opponent to date? Um, yeah, honestly, yeah, it has. I was surprised uh, he didn't take that body shot very well. I was like, man, that guy got defeated, you know. Almost half his fights all by knockout, so I was kind of, I was kind of skeptical at first, but I was like, all right, well, I've been training really hard, man. So I just been, been staying on my toes when I was in there, head movement. I listened to my uh, my corner from from down below. They would tell me exactly what to do. So it was good. So you're boxing out of India with Coach Joel Diaz, man. Yeah. What's that experience been like for you? You know, having such a you know a renowned coach in your on your. Corner? Oh man, you know it's all good, man. Everything's good. Um, but of course there's ups and downs, you know, there's times when Joel really gets on my case, man, and I'm like, hey, um, sorry, man, uh, what can I do? But when it's in the gym, it's strictly business. When out of the gym, it's completely different. He's like a father figure to me. I don't have any family here, nowhere near California, so... So how did you actually get linked up with Joel Diaz? Oh, my manager, Ernesto. Um, he seen me, man. He seen me one time. He's like, well, let's, go, let's give this guy a shot. Let me, let me see. I hear about him. And, um, well, I knocked out some guy that's never been knocked out before in the third round. So, from there, everything just escalated. Yeah. So, you're pretty well known around here, man. I've seen you fight here before. You always bring the fans out. You know, what's the next step after this? Obviously, you're still young in your career, but, you know, you're putting on fans friendly fights and you yeah. have a decent amount of people showing up to your fights so what's yeah. next for you man hey man whatever um, it's really not up to me I'm, I'm just a puppet I got I got my, my puppet masters Joel my manager they're the ones that are the ones that pull the streets so inside and outside the ring so anything that's to with business or anything so I'll leave it all up to them just Honestly, cause, yeah, I was. Yes. Yeah, that's why I was kind of timid at first, just kind of seeing what he had. You know, it really kept me on my on my toes. Yeah. Kept me on my toes, kept me aware. So I guess in in all uh, all honesty, the nerves kind of helped me out in there. Yeah. He used a lot of movement, man. Yeah. Uh, he was using a lot of movement. Were you setting him up for that body shot? Oh. Were you just waiting for the right time? Yeah, um, I seen that body shot. You know, Joel seen it. You know, within the first what. 10 seconds, he's a whole man. That guy don't watch it, it's good night. So, but it, the movement and everything, we have, you know, boxers in the gym, so the movement, cutting off the ring, that wasn't a problem. So I kind of already had an idea of what I wanted to do. So being in India, you know, with, with Coach Joel Diaz, what was some of the best work that you ever got? You know, what, what, type, what type of clothes have you sparred? Uh, let's put it this way, I've had, Sparring from Diego Magdaleno, well, all the Magdaleno brothers. Uh, Jesse Magdaleno, well, just good luck to him tomorrow. And, um, you know, Ruslan Provodnikov, I've sparred with Victor Ortiz, you know, I've had Diego De La Hoya, I help him out a lot. He and, just had a nice uh, win on the, on the Canelo undercard, right? Yeah. yeah. And also, uh, Virgil uh, Ortiz that also fought that night. So he was uh, my sparring partner for this fight also. He has good movement, he has decent speed. So, yeah, man, everything just went as planned. All right, I know you're trying to trying to leave, man. You're trying to go see your people. So, no, nah, man, sorry, I'm not trying to. It's just, <laughs> Break that I'm one still, point for me, man. You're still, you're I'm, still, I'm still hype, man. I'm still hype. <laughs> so tell me, man, Sergey Kovalev, Andre Ward, man, who wins that one? Oh man, honestly, I don't know. If I could be honest with you, of course, you need to. I, I don't really watch too much boxing. <laughs> I don't really follow much people, man. Like, right. I just do this. This is just what I'm good at. This is what I picked up. Like, dude, I'm not really, like, all into it, but, um, man, I don't know. If you had to pick one fighter that influenced your style the most, who would you say it is? Uh, well, let's just say I grew up watching um, Juan Manuel Marquez, Chavez Sr., you know, um, just guys like that, De La Hoya. Those, those guys just got me into the love of boxing, so I really like that. All right, man, wish you the best of luck, man. Thank you for your time. Thank you.